I'd like to interject also that the Ottoman Empire, they destroyed a lot of the Hebrew writings, the original writings, as well as the library at Alexander or Alexandria. I'm uh, kind of just piecing this together. I hope you bear with me. I hope you learned something. Uh, I'm going to try to clean it up as best I can, but I noticed I made a mistake in uh, the Bible scripture that I quoted um, when Yahuwah calls on all of his people to serve him in one lip or one language. But uh, bear with me. Uh, I noticed it. It was trivial. I'll try to fix it. But uh, if I can't, you know, just understand that I made a mistake. I admit it. I apologize. And uh, let's move on. This is one of my most favorite programs. Now this is the online version, but you can install it on your computer or your laptop. Scripture for All, the Hebrew Interlinear Bible. I don't like that word either. Bible actually means Biblios or Canon. And uh, there's just too many versions that are associated with Bible that are not scriptural at all. So I like to think of the title, which is Scripture for All. So, if we take a look at the website up at the top, you can see www.scripture, the number four, all.org, and that'll get you to this uh, website. There's a link there for the Greek. Don't waste your time with it, you know, it's all a pollution anyway. So, this is what I'm using. I have it installed on my computer, so let's take a look. Right here is the display that you'll see when you get the program installed, the Interlinear Scriptures Analyzer. This is the basic version. It's absolutely free. And the scripture I have up here right now is Deuteronomy 14.26. And the reason that I have this up is because there was a dispute among the brethren about being able to drink intoxicants. To drunkenness. Now, I don't believe that's scriptural, but here we can see a verse, and let's read it. And thou shalt bestow that money for whatever thy soul lusteth after. Now we know that lust is one of the Ten Commandments that we're not supposed to lust after anything. So there's a little error right there, a deception. But anyway, let's continue on. Lust after oxen, sheep or for wine, or for strong drink. See that? Strong drink. Now, <laughs> we'll get into that. Bear with me. Let's continue on. Or for whatever thy soul desireth, and thou shalt eat there before the L word, thy G word, and thou shalt rejoice thou and thy household. So, a lot of people have taken this to mean that you can buy strong drink and get drunk during this feast unto Yahuwah. Now let's take a look at this word. It's U B Shakur. Okay, the U and the B basically means and in the intoxicant. Or if you wish to take this, this Wa Bait Shin. Kuf Resh, and put it into the Google Translate. The Google Translator will tell you that it means and wages. It means and wages. Okay, but that's just Google. You know, we're not going to trust that. That's just another witness, we might call it. Okay, so how do we translate this word? Well, we could go down here and click on. Uh, the Strong's Note, and it gives us an intoxicant, an intensely alcoholic liquor. Well, I don't do Strong's. I don't do Strong Numbers, and I don't do Greek. I'm trying to unlearn all those things and go back to the original Paleo-Hebrew as best I can. But the Paleo-Hebrew is lost, and all we have is this modern Hebrew with all its vowel pointings. Now, vowel pointings were added too, so I'm trying to unlearn all that and get back to just the basic Hebrew as best I can. 
So how do we translate this word? You be shakar. Of shakar or of uh, shakar. Here's one way to do it. If I go up here and mouse over it and then I right click on it and I go to search. Okay, we want to go up here and search for this without vowel pointings. Now you can see down here we have UB. Well, let's take out the UB because we're interested in just the root word, which is shakur. Okay, so the uh, format is a little bit difficult to get used to, but I'm going to delete that. Okay, we're looking up here in the WLC, which has to do with a, uh, a Hebrew version of the Hebrew Scriptures. So we're going to look in the WLC version. I think that's right. If I'm wrong, I apologize, but uh, it's something like that. And then we click Search. Okay. So the first thing that we come up with is up here for that word is Genesis 30 and verse 16 and if I scroll down here there it is right over here in the green Shekhar but does it have the same Strong's number? no it doesn't so Strong's isn't really trustworthy. But let's take a look at what this says. And Jacob came out of the field in the evening, and Leah went out to meet him and said, Thou must come in unto me, for surely I have hired thee with my son's mandrakes. And he lay with her that night. Okay. The key word here is hired. Okay. We see that up here, and then we go down here. And we see to hire. Shakur, Strong's definitions, strong drink. And this scripture means to hire. Okay? So let's do something here. Let's go back and see if to hire would be applicable in the previous scripture. So we're back at the one that talks about strong drink and intoxicant right here so let's see if we can insert to hire and thou shalt bestow that money what for whatsoever thy soul lust is after for oxen or for sheep or for wine or to hire or for whatever thy soul desire so you can use it to hire some people for the feast days. That makes sense to me. Okay, you can use it to hire. Okay, let's go down to the next one. And this is uh, Numbers 6 3, an intoxicant. So, which is it? Is it an intoxicant or is it wages and to hire? Brethren, uh, as far as I'm concerned, and what I learned is Yahuwah does not instruct his people to get drunk and to consider it an acceptable and good behavior. But uh, I would say just the opposite, that he frowns on such matters and he instructs us not to do such things lest we become corrupted in our thinking and be deceived and maybe even speak lies or lose some of our our strength in trying to be chaste and whatever other reasons. But anyway, an intoxicant. Let's go down again. Shakar to hire. Intoxicant. Hire of. Notice that word next to it. Shakir hired one. Shakar is hire of. And Shakir is hire one. Huh. 
Interesting, don't you think? He hired Shakar. Drunken Shakir. Same word, different strong numbers, different translation. He hired Shakar. Sakhar. Okay. Shakar. 7940. A name. Use it as a specific name for son of Sakhar. Oh, it's that guy that's named Strong Drink, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Here we find it again for hire. There's intoxicant. Hire. Hire of. Intoxicant. 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 Hire. Hire. Intoxicant. Intoxicant. Hire. And I keep going on. You can just see the same thing. To make drunk. Hire of. That's pretty much it. So. I'd say we're about 50-50 between a strong drink or intoxicant as compared to wages or higher. I want to show you something, a little image I made. Uh, if you've seen my video that has to do with the print screen button and how to make your own images in paint, well, that's what I've got going on here. It's a picture I made, an image. It's got Shakar right at the top. Okay, so I'm going to view in so we can see this a little bit better. And I'm going to scroll down and show you the original scripture that we worked with, which was Deuteronomy 14.26. I'm going to go back here and get my pointer. Okay. and in the intoxicant so right here is we have the root word shikar which is what we're talking about as far as being strong drink a drunkard or is it wages and to hire Okay, so let's go down. And there's that one. We know that one says strong drink or intoxicant. But if we reread that, like we had done already and stuff like that, that you can use it for to hire somebody or you can use it for the wages of the people that are working during the celebration. For example, you can give some of it to the Levites that might be in your camp that are helping you with the celebration. Let's go down to this next one. This is Genesis 30 and 28. And he has said, Appoint me thy wages, and I will give it. Okay, and he is saying specifically you hire of you. This is the root word, shakar. Shakarek means basically from. So the final kuf means from. On me and I shall give. Hire of you or hire from. Specify you. Hire from on me and I will give. Okay. So basically that has to do with the hire or the wages. Cool, huh? Okay. So. Let's scroll over and we'll have a look at a couple of other examples. And this is Ezekiel 29:19. Therefore, thus said the LG Behold, I will give you the land of Egypt unto Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and he shall take her multitude, and take her spoil, and take her prey, and it shall be wages for his army. Uh, you think he wants to get his army drunk? 
Maybe he's going to give them strong drink. Now let's take a look at that word down here. And there it is in its purest form. Shakar for hire. Hire for his army. Hire, wages, basically the same thing. Let's go up and look at another example. This is uh, has the final kuf, which means to hire from or hire of you as the way it's translated here. And this is Genesis 31 in verse 8. If he said thus, the speckled shall be thy wages, and all the cattle bear speckled. And if he said thus, the ring shanked shall be thy hire, then bear all the cattle ring shanked. Okay, so the very first time that it comes up, thy wages, if he said thus, if thus he is saying speckled ones, he shall become, this is, the, uh, ya, ya. I am that I am. I don't want to get off track, but that's basically saying that I am that I am, which is uh, leading up to the name of Yahuwah and how he got his name. But anyway, that's he shall become higher for you. Okay. And then we go down, ring shank, be thy higher. It's in here again. And it's right down here. 7939, 7939. Same, same. But when we take and slide over, oh, 7941. Surely it's got to be a different word, a different meaning, or something like that. But you can clearly see in every example that I've posted, I've used the same root. Now, you can add to all kinds of theology that you want. You can put in your vowel pointings and manipulate it and pollute it in whatever manner that you want to be able to fit your need of being able to drink strong drink and get drunk and try to justify your addiction, but it's just not so. And Yahuwah's word, if you get into it and really do your homework, you can learn these things. So basically that's it in a nutshell. That's just one example. I'll be coming back shortly and we'll take a look at how to do it in eSword. So talk to you in a bit.